Do y'all think we should make it rain? And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sedgewani's Fortune. This is going to be another viewer submitted donation deck that for a little twist here, right? Like it's not just going to be a regular Sedgewani Misfortune deck. We're going to be uh, playing a deck with a lot of one drops again, kind of like we did with the Teemo Fizz deck before. Um, but this time we're going to have a better top end and um, and everything besides that. But as you can tell, we got some really good one drops in these regions. Bilgewater has good ones. And then we got Omen Hawk, which is a great one drop. And then we'll have Jagged Taskmaster and we have Reaver's Row. So our payoff for playing one drops are going to be Jagged Taskmaster and Reaver's Row. This landmark that will be granting our one cost allies plus two, plus one and fearsome. That fearsome being pretty important making it difficult for them to block stuff. We'll also have Island Navigator in here, which is uh, perfect for two reasons. One, it makes the one cost follower and it gives it Scout. So then that one could have Scout and Fearsome with Island Navigator. But then also it's going to be um, a Scout unit for Misfortune. So we, we can get multiple attacks in one round uh, for Misfortune. So that works out really well there. Uh, we'll have some Troll Chance to help protect our Misfortunes. And then we'll have Sejuani at the top end, and that's going to kind of be about it. We got two mana make it rain. We got Shared Spoils getting some card draw. Um, Pool Shark getting some card draw. And yeah, we're going to be attacking. Citrus Courier also can heal and allow us to attack again. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to call in, we're just calling it Sejuani's Fortune, but it's a it's a little bit different version of Misfortune Sejuani aggro focusing on the one cost allies here we go we'll go play five games in ranked playing some lissandra no talia just lissandra i assume this is going to be a thrall deck that's just like it um i do like island Nav i'm keeping island navigator we're attacking on round four this can actually just kind of set up pretty well for us. I think uh, I can kind of just go on autopilot mode and just kind of play our cards as they appear. Unfortunately, they have the round one frozen draw. That's too bad because our curve's pretty good. And now we'll go Misfortune. And then we'll go Eye of the Navigator. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. But unfortunately they had like <laughs> you know, like this is as good as like the first three rounds as, as their deck does. Lissandra's a perfect blocker against Misfortune. They had the round one frozen thrall. Less is more shine. I think I'd have a both. Yeah. Yeah. Child. Man overboard. This is our way. We're the aggro deck. If our misfortune dies, it dies, but I am attacking. You cannot fight the cold. Warning shot. No. Okay, good. Not the, you know, the five drop that would... Turn that Frozen Thrall into being a thing. Um, I am going to wait on this Cutthroat because of like Avalanche and stuff like that. It doesn't have Scout. I'm going to be attacking with the Scout units first. Mega Rain could be useful. Love 
Okay. So they still have four mana. I think I go... Let's see. Let's go Shared Spoils. Another Taskmaster. Alright. Shared Spoils. Then Taskmaster, Taskmaster, Cutthroat. Maybe four, five, six, seven. The weak don't deserve mercy. Okay, I think that's game. Oh, tough nexus. No, it's not game. It's tough nexus. Oh, I forgot about tough nexus. Why is that a thing? Why does this card do so much? Uh, tough nexus. <laughs> Best way to the heart is between the ribs. I'll be quick. Send them to the drink. Gosh, tough Nexus. <sighs> Why? <laughs> All right, well, let's see. So they can block four things. Kill. So this would be Fight. three, four, just four damage to them. <laughs> Gosh, tough nexus. Well, the good news is I can't really play the Ice Shard. And if I get lucky, our Make It Rain will kill those. In case they don't, I go block, block. I guess I don't block with those. Kills one of them. But obviously the tough nexus means my shared spoil is not enabled anymore. Man. Tough nexus is ridiculous. I don't yeah, I don't I don't see how you think we can win this. I mean I guess I just yeah, I guess I just play the shared spoils like this. I, I can't do damage to the Nexus ever anyway. I guess we just give stuff plus one, plus zero. Or plus one, plus one. Alright, this is over. If I draw a Sejuani, it's still over. Or is it? Like, Lissandra already does everything else. Why does it also do Tough Nexus? Pain is nothing. You have never had to endure real pain, Sejuani. Does three damage. <laughs> Super disappointing game. I guess I wish I would have just attacked immediately. No, I guess I couldn't. No, they still had time to play those Sandra before. I don't know. Really disappointing game. Tough Nexus is. Pretty ridiculous. That was a mistake. What I would change about Lissandra is I would have 
I would have Lissandra have the Ice Shard still cost three mana, because you're making them for free anyway. They shouldn't cost zero mana also. So they should still be they should still be three mana. They're just, you know, creating an Ice Shard each round, sure. But spend your mana. And then instead of Watcher going in your hand, I would have Watcher just like go in your deck. And you know, it's still like a you know, it's like the you know, it could show up at any time and you know everything, but not just go in your hand for free. Just go somewhere somewhere in your deck. Well, our, we had a perfect curve for our deck, we, and our deck looked really cool. So, you know, like, that's those are good things. Lissandra's the best card in the game, so, you know, we lost to the, the best card in the game, so no shame in that, but I liked how our deck looked. I can keep the Warning Shot and enable 3-3 three, three Jagged Butcher, but I don't think that's worth a card. I'm going to send it back. I'm playing Butcher, yeah. Ah. Uh, a little punish for playing the Butcher. Looking for trouble? It found you. I'm glad I wasn't calling strike. Ready the torches. Look out for reavers. Why would you not block the two-two or the three-three? Yeah, I was gonna say like just block the thing that does the most. block Sejuani with Omen Hawk. Or or why did I say such you know Ash. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know if I block Ash with Omen Hawk. I guess it's just one extra damage attack wise but like if I open attack like going the going back the other way no backing down I don't know could have been one extra damage with that omen hawk okay well ash is still dead okay made them use a few couple of cards Love you. What do we got here? We play in build rules, son. happen. Where are you at? So you're at three. That's not good. That's not good at all. Shunpo. Go on, then. 
Shunpo? Yeah, this, I haven't seen this deck rally like this before either. But they look, the Shumpos look great. Man, they. Yeah, and this is just I can't, so I can't block with any of these. The game's over. That was awesome. Yeah, like that, just you know, brittle steel, triple troll chant, double Shumpo with Ash. Like Ash is still great if you can, if you can just protect Ash. You have your challenger. Like, that's awesome. Ash is a really underrated card. And as you saw, Ash completely dominated that game. Completely dominated that game. Silver Echo. So not Zillion. Usually you see Zillion with Echo. So they're probably going to be attacking a little bit more with Sivir. Okay. Um. So what's my plan? Like round one, go like butcher attacking for two, and or maybe just cutthroat attacking for one. Then round two, go warning shot taskmaster. But no, I don't. I don't know. Warning shot's just so bleh. It's just not worth a card, you know? <laughs> it's it's very, very rarely worth the entire card. So I'm worried about the feline as far as, like, if I just play Butcher, they play the feline. The one man, two one. All right, well, I guess we are doing that. You know, it works out pretty well because, you know, now I have Misfortune. I was going to play the Jagged Taskmaster on round three, but now I have the Misfortune for round two. Yeah, Boats with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Boats. I appreciate that. Well, let's get some hype votes in the chat for Yeah, Boats. Looking for trouble? It found you. That's our second sub of the day. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. I'll be quick. I wonder when people will figure out to stop playing Drop Border. I like the troll chant. That's good. Um, is that our third? Yes. AB Carter, your gifted sub earlier. I forgot to mark that down. Good call. That's our third sub of the day. You drafted. Ugh, I don't have space for the Island Navigator. I thought about that whenever I played the Crackshot Corsair of like, man, I kind of hope this is an Island Navigator right here because I don't have the space now. I I guess we're just attacking. Open wide. Uh -uh. 
Yeah. Did, yep, don't have the mana for both. <clears throat> I want to troll chant. Okay, still dead. Like, okay, so I've I've talked about this before, but drop order just doesn't really work very well in this deck because this deck, especially with the the fallen felines and all the kind of cheap blockers like this, like this deck's very good against aggro. And Drop Order is only good against aggro, so it only helps out your aggro matchup, which is what the deck is already built to defeat anyway. Now, if you if you just want to play it and just realize, okay, we're going to be even better, so we're going to be great against aggro, but we are not going to be very good at, you know, because Drop Order really hurts in your bad matchups, It because it does just nothing in, any, in your bad matchups. And so, you know, like, you can make your deck more polarized and be really, you know, win your good matchups, you're probably going to lose your bad matchups anyway, even if you improve your drop order slot. So with that kind of thinking, it does make sense to um, to play drop order if you just want to make your good match good matchups better, your bad matchups worse, and polarize the deck like that. And that's a fair strategy. Yeah, you're okay against control. You're you're bad against any deck with large units. Right, like your like thralls, dragons. That's what you're gonna be bad against. Especially dragons. Like your your Demacia decks. The bigger mid-range decks. And drop borders aren't doing anything for you. Why is this deck good against aggro? Because all like all the units in it are very cheap. You have the Fallen Feline that creates the Hexite Crystal, which is just like game over. You have very good cheap removal in these regions, especially like Mystic Shop. You know, like you have a you know you have other ones you get to play too. Um, Mystic Shots, you know, the All Star. Um, everything about your deck is like cheap spells and cheap units, and so that's why you're good against aggro. Twenty-two. Yeah, Zillion version, you got the time bombs also. They're just passing. There's plenty of killing left. I kind of imagine they have a chrono break. I'm trying to think of like what could possibly go wrong for me, and Chrono Break kind of feels like that's like the one thing that could go wrong for me. The reason why Drop Order isn't very good in all the other matchups is because it's just such a poor draw. A 1-3 a doesn't affect the game at all in non-aggro matchups. And so it's just drawing a... it's just a dead card. You're just down a card anytime you draw one. And so that's, that's the reason why you don't play Drop Order. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I'll keep it. 
They had two cats earlier. We've been super lucky, lucky that they've hit zero Excite Crystals. We've got to hope that's still the case. Just, yep, see, I, I had to say something about it, but... Yeah, very, very nice ride of negation. Yeah, I don't, I don't like ancient preparations either, right? Like, I don't, you know, you know, you know me, I don't like drop order or ancient preparations. I think that neither are uh, very good or necessary. Looking for trouble? It found you. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. It's a living. Of course, both of these things are just going to die to the Hexite Crystal. Block them. Hexite Crystal is amazing. Hexite Crystal is the star. For sure. Worth my while. Come on. Those riding negations were so good. Somebody's gonna bleed for this. Our deck's doing awesome. Like, our deck is really performing exactly what we want, and it's doing everything that we want, but our, our opponents are just unreal <laughs> in all three of these games. Um, but our deck looks really good. Our deck looks really solid. It looks like it's, it's uh, you know, it looks like our deck looks powerful, and it's curving out well. It's doing everything we could ever want, but each opponent is just... there. Yeah, they could, this has just been crazy. But I like I like how our deck looks, honestly. It looks pretty good. Our, our deck has been performing well. It's just it's been performing just a little worse than what our opponent's been doing. I'm taking the, the uh, trade so they don't get to like throw that thing in front of. I know like that the misfortune ability should theoretically kill it, but I don't want to allow them to be able to block the five five or the three three, and instead just uh, get it out of here. And now they take more damage because of that. Omen Hawk. <laughs> We're drawing a lot of misfortunes. I don't think I'm going to scout attack. I think I just... Normal attack? And, like, try to kill him? But now I did draw this other island navigator, but no, we just keep troll chain available, right? Yeah, and just, just normal attack. Puts him to three. Love ya. Okay. 
Do y'all think we should make it rain? Maybe we'll wait. Probably don't need to make it rain. So, you know, if I just go triple make it rain, they go, you know, another Vile Fee slash Withering Whale right there. Make it interesting. No, we were putting them at three. Make it rain before round end wasn't lethal. I only had two. I only had two make it rains. One, and then also I didn't have the mana for both make it rains. Very glad that wasn't Grasp the Undying. I was concerned for Grasp the Undying. Fortune favors the foe. The ocean is no place for the weak. For the weak. The weak. They need to not Vile Feast. They need to play a blocker that doesn't just have one health. Alright, I think it's time for us to make it rain. Guns a blazing. Alright, set sail. And that's how we get a win. Jeez. That's why I'm the captain. Ooh, we got a aggro mirror. Misfortune v misfortune. Whoa, we have Reavers Row in our deck. How about that? That's new. I think we're gonna keep the make it rain if they have a bunch of one health things, which is possible. It could be great. Fortunately, I did not have the one health thing. You know, like, I want them to have, like, one health, one drop, one health, one drop. You know, right, like, two of those. Okay, well, I guess it's gonna have one health now. chant here. Your path and 
is here. This is our way. Routes closed. It's kind of with the block with the butcher, and then you know, we'd maybe have multiple things that we that we would be able to kill with this, make it rain. If that came up. All right, I'm trying cycle cap. Keep up, keep up. All right, so they just put a noxion fervor into their hand. Ooh, so that was a different noxion fervor. So, I mean, it's technically possible that. Ha! So it's possible this is Mega Rain, I suppose. If I attack out, 1-1 one, one blocks 3-1, three, 3-3 one, three, three blocks 2-2, two, 2-1 two, two, blocks 4-2. That's pretty bad for me. So it was Mega Rain. He's gonna courier and heal my allies three. My three one died. Let's get some vitamin C. The citrus courier. Like the Legion Grenadier is having a conversation with itself. Death doesn't scare me. Are you sure about that? Let's get crew. All right, here's where we draw Sedge Twenty. Sedge Twenty. Not quite. Um, do I scout attack? Like, if I scout attack with the 2 4, it just dies to the 4 3. And so, like, I, I do 2 damage to the 4 3 and 1 damage to them. And I don't know if that's worth it. I kind of feel like that's not really worth it. Because then, because then what do I do? Then I attack with. I guess then I play the 4-3 Jagged Butcher and attack out, and their 4-3 still trades with my 4-3. Their little 1-1 one, one goes in front of my 4-5. Their 2-1 goes in front of their the 2-2, two, two, and they're like perfectly fine. And then they also have two extra cards, and I'm I'm left with nothing but a 4-4. Four, four. And then they have two cards. Like I I'm in a losing position. So I guess so. Yeah. So I can't attack with Island Navigator. No, I can't. If I if I attack with Island Navigator, I lose. If I scout attack with it, and then you know, like, like if I go scout attack attack out, like I'm, I'm in a really bad spot. It's so it's okay. It's better to attack with everything and just attack with all four. It's, the scout attack's not worth. Okay, so we ended up with a 2 and 3 here with the Sejuani's Fortune deck, and honestly, the deck performed really well, as we talked about after the first three games, was that like this deck, um, all, th all three of the first ones we lost, but our deck looked really good each time. Our opponents, you know, like it's just, there's two, 
you know, two people playing the game, right? And even if we do really well, if the opponent also does really well and they do just a tad bit better or like their deck is designed, you know, to, to beat this or, you know, all that kind of stuff, we can still lose. And that, that's what kind of happened the first three. Um, so I think I was pretty impressed with just what was going on here with uh, the different Bilgewater cards, Omen Hawk in here with them looked like Omen Hawk looked great um and everything like that and so i i liked what we had going on like you know like we did a pretty good job of leveling misfortune we had the troll chant to protect it the island navigator with the scout was pretty nice we never got reaver's row right like we we basically never had reaver's row or sejuani of course we we, we were mulliganing those cards because they were our top end but we just didn't really have those two um but the task you know we did have a lot of taskmasters and that was quite good with a lot of these other things um and you know corsair butcher pool shark all that kind of stuff was good so yeah i liked i really liked how our deck looked you know like we just kind of got we got lissandra in one game like one game where i just didn't think we were going to lose it all and then suddenly tough nexus and like suddenly you know level up lissandra is doing zero damage because the tough neck like you know we got tough nexus you know like with lissandra like that was just man this card is i do not like that card but anyway um you see you know like that happened one game and you know like it was just like that kind of stuff you know like but uh, i think that our our deck did perform very well and it looked good and yeah i'd be i'd be pretty confident continuing to do well with it I'd be interested to see what reaver's row looks like with the deck right like if we are able to curve out and have you know like our our ones you know like like one drop or one drop double one drop for round one two or one drop taskmaster round one two you know like that kind of stuff and then play like Misfortune on three, Navigator on four, Reaver's Row on five. I wonder what the Reaver's Row kind of looks like. But, you know, we just we didn't draw it a single time in these ones. All right, but anyway, that's going to be uh, it here for Sejuani's Fortune. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Those comments always help out the channel. A lot of people have been leaving good comments recently. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck. Let me know. But that's going to be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.